All right, Tibbers. Got a call this morning for uh, my ad for free mowers. And I got this one here. I haven't even tried to start this one. Reason being the pull ropes broke on it. Um, the lady told me one of them ran with something about an intake. I don't know. I haven't really. This one here, you prime it. It'll start. It'll run for a few minutes and then it'll die. Um, it won't stay running. Um, carburetor, I'm sure. Um, that's usually the case. Carburetor's all junked up and everything. Um, this one here, um, like I said, the pull ropes broke on it. I may end up taking the motor off of that one and put on this one since it's a little better body. It doesn't look like it because it's got all these leaves and stuff on it, but um, it'll clean up pretty good, I think. So I may take that Briggs off and put on this motor, on this chassis. If not, I've got another one around there. But uh, I got this edger right here. And I took the carburetor apart, cleaned all of it. And in the process, let me go show you real quick, um, of taking it apart. The minute I pulled the bowl on it, um, I noticed something a little funny. Well, right here is what I found that was funny. If y'all don't know already, that is two cycle oil. That goes in weed eaters, some edgers, <laughs> if they're a small edger. Um, but they do not, and I repeat, they do not go in a four cycle. This Craftsman has the oil separate from the fuel. So do not, I repeat, if you have a three and a half Sears Craftsman edger, do not put two cycle engine oil in it. This thing was so gummed up from the oil in the butterfly when I cleaned it that it was not even funny. That oil is not designed to go through these. The jets are so small and so minute. It is not designed to go through this type of motor um, or carburetor. So please do not put two cycle engine oil in one of these. Um, that's all that was wrong with this. I took it apart, cleaned it um it was nasty i mean the butterfly would not i mean it was it had the butterfly stuck it would not move um after dunking it cleaning it and everything else it uh it finally freed up and i got her going but it was nasty but anyway like i said i'm gonna get these two part mowers to going probably take this motor off of this one put on this one clean it up i've got another craftsman um the reason being this one is the, as you can see on the sides right there they put bracing along there it was not factory so that's meaning that that frame is tweaked so i'll probably take that motor off and put it on that one and got the bonus of it being self-propelled so if i get another elderly person that needs a mower that is self-propelled it'll be a lot easier than them out there trying to push a mower in this heat um but anyway that's the state of the union today at the crazy for hot rods uh ponderosa or little castle or whatever you want to call it but anyway thanks for watching y'all and uh go out there get in the garage and do something that's what i've done and so um i haven't uh been making videos and finally somebody told me i you know stayed busy all the time and get out there and turn the camera on and uh mr peak says uh if you don't get it on camera it never happens so get it on camera then you have proof all right well thanks for watching guys